Okay, we learned how to use the area model to find the answer to some two-digit times two-digit multiplication problems. But obviously, you're not always going to want to draw out a rectangle on grid paper for every multiplication problem that you do. So I'm going to show you two more strategies you can use that kind of combine um, the area model. So that's called partial products and box method. So we talked about partial product when we were multiplying times one digit numbers and it's pretty similar with two digit times two digit. So on your paper you're gonna we're gonna fill out the steps at the same time because they're related to each other. So we have the problem 13 times 12 which you may recognize from our area model that we did earlier. So we're gonna look at how we can multiply that using the partial products and the box method. So the first thing that you're going to do with the partial products is we're going to multiply 3 times 2. And 3 times 2 is 6. Okay. For the box method, we're drawing a box to kind of separate our 10s from our 1s. So I have um, a box that's divided into 4 squares. And I've broken my number parts. So I have 10 plus 3 at the top for 13, and 10 plus 2 on the side for 12. So this should look pretty similar to the um, area model. So our first step is to do 3 times 2, which is 6, which would go in the box that connects to where 3 and 2 meet, which is that same little section on the area model where we colored in or drew a box around those six squares. Okay, so that's our first step on both methods. The second step is to multiply 10 times 2. And 10 times 2 is 20. So over here in the box method, that would go in the box where 10 and 2 meet. So we've done 3 times 2, and we've done 10 times 2. So what we've done is we've multiplied both of the numbers, both of those digits in our top number by 2. Okay, so then our next step is now we're going to be multiplying by 10. So we're going to do 10 times 3. So we've, we're multiplying by this 10 now. So 10 times 3 is 30, and that's going to go in my box over here where the 10 and the 3 meet. Okay, then our last step is to do 10 times 10, and 10 times 10 is 100. So I've multiplied this 10 by this 10, which is 100. And then our final step is to add up your numbers. So either way, you're going to be adding 100 plus 30, plus 20, plus 6. So it's 6, 3 plus 2 is 5, and 1. So no matter which way you solve it, you'll get 156 as your answer. Okay, so you're going to be practicing solving some two-digit times two-digit problems. You can either use the partial products or you can use the box method.